What is up guys, Johnny B here again today and I'm bringing you another video of uh, just work that I've been doing for customers. So I figured since I'm gonna be doing it, it might teach you guys something and then you guys can do it yourself in your own car. This is, uh, I believe it's a 2013 Audi S4. So it's the supercharged model. He's got it tuned. This thing is fast. It's, it sounds crazy when you hear the supercharger whine. Uh, it, just, it just makes you feel nice inside and, and it pulls hard, like it launches. It's an, it's an all wheel drive as well. So that's also really cool. Um, what we're going to be doing today is going to be upgrading all the brakes. We're going to be doing just StopTech rotors with StopTech pads, I believe. We're going to be painting the calipers. They are just kind of ugly. You know, they're the factory uh, color or whatever they are. And we got a little kit that's going to be painting them red. And then we have some stickers that we're going to be putting on there so that they're going to be red and they're going to say S4. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. So this is like a DIY mod, you know, for those of you that want to keep it on their budget but want your brake system to look nice. And obviously it's going to be upgraded. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like a stock setup, but it's you know stop tech rotors and pads. But we're gonna make them look good. So this this is cheap. You know it's cheaper than going a big brake kit. Uh, obviously I've done a lot of big brake kits as well. Uh, you're looking at like at least three thousand dollars for a full setup, uh, and most people don't want to spend that, especially if it's just a daily. It's not gonna be a track car. It doesn't really need that much. You just want them you know to look good. So let me show you guys what we got. Made in the USA brake caliper paint system set. Heat resistant up to 980 degrees. So it looks like he went with the red. Uh, you can pick, you know, various different colors if you want to go with a custom color as well. Uh, that way you can have, you know, your brake calipers a different color. And then in regards, oh, here you, can, you can see the red right here. And then in regards to the stickers, it looks like we have SNStyling.com. And this, these are special stickers that are made for calipers. So you can see here. Tells you to clean them, tells you to paint them, tells you to put the sticker on. In this case, they're putting like, those guys are putting Brembo stickers. But we're gonna be doing S4 stickers since that's what this car is. First thing I did was go ahead and remove the wheels. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and clean it up. And it looks like the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna be using this right here. It's a brake cleaner. So we're just gonna go through it, clean it all up, wipe them down. Also going to be using a wire brush to kind of like scrape off any excess of whatever it has, brake dust or whatever old material it may have uh, before, you know, pretty much we're, we're going to be prepping the surface before we paint. We got to try to get as much dirt and grime off of these because we want the paint to stick. And if we don't, then the paint's just not going to stick. So you got to get in all the little crevices and whatnot to kind of clean them up. Uh, they do recommend, you know, you can leave them on here. I'm going to be replacing the rotors and the pads. So I'm just going to paint them on here so it's easier for me. So I can just paint them, let them dry. And then once they're dry, I can go ahead and uh, replace everything. Because if I replace everything and then paint them, I have to make sure that I mask off anything. So it's just going to make it a lot easier. I might mask off some stuff that's not going to be getting removed regardless. Uh, but I think it's going to be fine uh, with this because this is a brush on application. It's not going to not going to be a spray application. A spray application will get over everything. But if you brush it on, I think it's going to be much easier. So I think I'm also going to probably do a little bit of sanding just to make sure that it really, really sticks to this because it seems to be powder coated from factory. We're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to paint it. This is the reactor, which I'm guessing it's a hardener. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dump that in there. You're gonna have about four to six hours to do that, which is more than enough. I think we could probably get this done in a couple minutes. Uh, and then it takes about two hours to cure and then 24 hours till you can drive it. So around the same time tomorrow is when it'll be ready to drive. So we're gonna get this all prepped and ready and then you get a brush to brush it on. So let's go ahead and do that. After you do the mixture, you go ahead and get the brush that comes with it. You lay some on the, on the brush and you just kind of got to do some brush strokes, just kind of like a little bit of painting, kind of how you used to do back when you were in a art class. The cool thing about this paint is that it actually, when it's starting to dry, it, it extends really well. So it, all these brush strokes that you're seeing now, they're actually going to go away. They're gonna, they're just gonna disappear. It like, has like a self-leveling type of, uh, I guess, agent, smoothens it out and then leaves it really, really nice. I did sand it a little bit with 600. The instructions didn't say to sand, but you know, just being what I am and 
every time I paint, I always sand, make sure, make sure stuff sticks. I just sanded it down a, a little bit with uh, 600, that's why you can see some of the marks there. I never thought putting on paint with a brush was gonna be the way to do it. I'm so used to doing it uh, with a paint gun and everything, but I guess this does help out for when you're gonna do your brakes and they're on your car. It uh, enables you to be able to paint whatever color you want and not worry about any overspray, you know, just cause you're able to control the paint where it's going and whatnot. But you know, that, this is kind of giving you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So if you guys are looking to do this, this is definitely the way to do it. You know, it's a good DIY project, very simple, uh, simple way. In the past, I've painted them with spray. So here is the caliper on uh, the front driver's side. I did mess up right there and put a little bit of paint, but you know, it was just a little drop. This is looking really nice. Um, got it all covered up up to where the black was or originally painted. Back here, it's actually like an aluminum piece and it, wa it wasn't painted, so I just painted to where the factory paint was at. You're not gonna see much more uh, than that regardless. So that's all painted. And then I'll show you guys the rear. Look at that. Rear is painted on this side. It's got a nice carbon fiber ducktail on it. And then we have this side is painted as well. And this side is painted as well. So we got them all done. I'm gonna wait about two hours and then I'm gonna come out here and just double check on it. And then if I feel that it's dry enough uh, for me to remove them, I will switch out the pads and rotors. All right, so it's been about two hours. Looking nice and shiny, actually. It looks really good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swap out the rotors and the, the pads. So for rotors and pads, we actually have them right over here. We have some StopTech street pads and then some StopTech rotors. So that's what's gonna be going on in this car. So I got the caliper off. I used a 21 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts that go there. And then I removed the rotor. The rotor comes off with one little bolt. So it's, it's a six point. Uh, I don't know exactly what size it is here. Let me pop it off my gun. I have a little tool kit that has all of them. This is, the T27 is what it's what it's using. So I'm gonna put this new rotor on and then I'm gonna put the bolt on, put it back on there and then throw the new pads on the caliper, uh, which are right here. They're pretty beefy. So hopefully this is gonna improve the, the, the performance braking of this car because it's making a ton of power right now. It's making like well above like 400 horsepower. So it needs something a bit better. So I think the street pads from StopTech are gonna help out a lot with the with the braking versus the, the cheap eBay stuff that was on there before. Brakes are looking great. Red and with the S4 sticker with the brand new rotors. Actually looks pretty awesome. I'll show you guys the rest of them. Look at that. I really like the way the rears came out. They look pretty good the way the sticker just sits on there. Even though there's not really supposed to be a sticker in the back, but I don't know. It just looks cool. It's a simple DIY mod that you know you could do yourself. Give your car a little bit more character. And now you can see the brake uh, caliper. You couldn't see it before because it was black. So having it red just kind of gives it a, you know, that distinct look. This car obviously has a bit better brakes than most cars. Uh, although, you know, they're already kind of performance. So I guess it doesn't matter too much, but it just looks so good having red calipers uh, on your car.